Well, for the Council of Europe, culture and art are extremely important as a, as a catalyst of uh, freedom and European identity and also manifestation of freedom, unity and European identity. And of course, in a, in a world which is increasingly shaped by technology, artificial intelligence, it is normal to look in what way uh, culture and art on one way will be affected by that technological development, but even more so for the purposes of these meetings here today, in what way culture and art can be an asset. And I think, in conclusion, that we could not have a better host, we could not choose a better place because Rijeka, I think, has always been um, an extremely open, progressive, charismatic, cosmopolitan and also provocative city. For me, uh, I'd like culture to be mainstream in a number of areas of, of public policy because uh, culture and artists can contribute to policy making and Obviously, new technology and artificial intelligence are areas where uh, policymakers should seek advice, opinions uh, from the artistic and cultural sector. And for me, the conference was extremely important because it's enabled to meet people you would not meet in uh, traditional cultural circles. Uh, you know, engineers, uh, artists working with the scientists and technologies. So it's an a, a, uh, ability to exchange with people from different backgrounds and, uh, and, 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 and see uh, how you can this mix of, how can, you can use this mix of competence to advise uh, authorities like the Council of Europe and maybe the European Union. Uh, the ECA 2020 project is not just about a wonderful artistic and cultural program that we are going to deliver for the year 2020. It's also about a number of events like today's conference that are positioning Rijeka as a relevant cultural center, center for culture, arts, uh, creative industries on a European map. Therefore, activities like uh, conference uh, on artificial intelligence and the role of culture are very important for us. Today's conference not only brought uh, most relevant experts in that area to Rijeka, enabled networking, enabled discussing uh, about this topic, but enabled us also to share values that we believe are the values of our project, the values that will help us uh, uh, create uh, free uh, democratic societies. These are the values of the Council of Europe also, and we are therefore very happy to have had this conference in Rijeka.